God, the I, maker. I, I like I, that definition. He calls before. God the maker. You, it is not only the heavens and the earth he makes, he can make men. Bring your destiny as battered and scattered as it is. Hand it over to the maker that what your father could not do, what your mother could not do. Are we together now? What your tribal affiliation may not afford you. You hand over that destiny. I know you can't speak English very well. I know you may not have the kind of pedigree that is welcoming. But you hand over like the woman with the alabaster box. Hand it over to the maker and watch what he does. He is this King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Amen. You are the King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. A day will come you will travel to your home and pass roads you used to know before except that the only thing that will accompany you is the tears from your eyes I remember this house you will say I remember this place and you will say how great thou art the faithfulness of God over your life let the mockers mock while you love him let those who laugh at you laugh while you mock him let other people say it's God you are going to eat It's God that will give you a husband they are not wrong you just continue where God will carry people that look like nations and bring to your life. Listen, this is not a sermon, no. This is, this is a charge by the Spirit. Serving God pays. You can earn a living loving Jesus. The same way they say somebody is this, what do you do? And you say loving Jesus. Our world today will laugh at you and say shame on you. What a foolish person. Preachers have indoctrinated you. Watch the person who spoke after 10 years. The brothers of, Jesus, of, of Joseph taught his passion, the dreams that he was having. They were angry and they tried to throw him into the well. But they did not know the kind of hand and influence that was backing him. For some of you, God sent you to Zaria here. I was teaching our precious people that Koinonia Zaria is different from every other expression of Koinonia across the globe because this place is more than an apostolic center. It's a training ground. This is, this is it's like military, the school of infantry. This is where those who are world changers are identified and made. Some of you are seated quietly, yet that prophet is still there seated quietly apostle i come from a family somewhere in plateau or southern kaduna we do not even have there is don't worry allow the maker make you don't allow fools that don't know where they are going deceive you people who are not going anywhere they don't have any idea about their life you see the fallen man is arrogant even at the height of ignorance are we together yes if you had seen many of us many decades before now we would not look like it today the foolishness of loving Jesus Lord my life may not be much but if you ever find value in it here I present it as a trophy and God says it was mine all the way I gave you you have the power to use it without me now you hand it over to me he said but I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he's able to keep that listen which is committed to him he only keeps what is committed to him not what you hold and say bless hand it over he belongs to you Lord, I have no idea about what my life should become. If I'm to use the parameters of my success right now, I may not amount to much. Maybe my father is no more alive. Maybe my mother is not alive. Maybe what I studied or I'm studying is not even something from our world today, from a value standpoint. It may not be something that guarantees anything. Hand it over. God is speaking to someone. Tonight is a handover service. Don't try to live your life and run it by your rules. You are already messing it up. Carry what is left with humility and bring it to him. And say, this is how my father messed up his life. When he was 25, he thought he was in control of things. And 25 years, the man who sat at Bethesda, 
he was so close to the pool yet for 38 years he could not be healed you can be so close to destiny helpers you can be so close to opportunities but there is no guarantee that God, if God does not help you, you will keep looking at greatness like this till you grow old. You will never step into it. It's terrible to see a thing. You already have a picture, but to hold it, you will see that as close as you are, until the hand of Elohim stretches for you, you will never hold it. You know how they bait horses? They put straw in front of them or some grain huh? and then they tie it. They will never be able to, to catch it. So their movement is not because they want to move. In their minds, they hope that they are moving towards it. That is the deception of trying to be great without God. You will be close. Next week, give me your CV. I forgot. Uh -uh. I used to be your father's classmate and you start dancing. Finally, it is done. Without God, you are joking. That man will become a director there. And even after 10 years, he will leave. And unbelievers who meandered into a crusade ground and say, I don't believe in Jesus, but let me receive this prophecy, will go and move forward. And you find out that you remain there. Except the Lord builds a house. They labor in vain that build it. I'm speaking to someone. Except the Lord watches over a city. My Bible says the watchmen watch it but in vain. It says it is vain to wake up early and to sleep late at night. Only to eat the bread of sorrow. Only God can give his beloved sleep. Let me tell you something. During COVID, we didn't have service here. Remember, during COVID from february it was till december that a service was held i remember respectfully speaking a few loving sincere and very beautiful hearted men of god who called me and said apostle what you are doing is suicidal you don't do that in ministry that from uh, from february you don't have any service no point of contact with your people by the time you call a meeting again you will come and meet empty chairs I said I respect you and I respect whoever taught you but there is something I know about God you have no idea of my covenant with God you have no idea of what he told me in the wilderness I'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me. Here's the part of the song I love. I am victorious. I have overcome. I am victorious. I have overcome no matter your situation. I have, I have, I have overcome. I have overcome. Hear me. Whoever told you God cannot prosper you. This money thing that is making you leave the Lord, you need to pipe, pipe low with it and come back to God and say, my pursuit for money. You may have done it sincerely. Lord, I return to you. Help me and show me mercy. You are the only one who can open the eyes of a man to see an oasis in the desert. If you do not open the eyes of men, they will not see. Apostle, my own is that I need money for ministry. It is the God of heaven who made the friends of Job who left him to return back. In Job 42 and verse 10, he was dejected and left there as though he did not have God. He lost everything in his life. The only person, humanly speaking, who was with him was his wife. And I'm sure she was tired. She said, will you not cause God and die? I can't leave you because I'm your wife, but help me by dying. So that at least I can have a life with my remaining days. And Job said, all the days of my appointed time, he says, I will wait. Waiting is the hardest thing for a believer to do. 
listen to my teaching when God is silent I've told you that the silence of God is a language you need to know what God is saying when he's not speaking for someone when God is silent he means keep pressing you are making the right decision don't change your mind keep pressing keep praying keep serving you are serving in the house of God and they look at you they'll say you keep getting old no man will come and marry you the same way it happened to your mother and you will feel stupid oh you cannot do this you, you you keep doing that you will be poor forever and you sit down and feel stupid and you think of your innocent mother and your siblings and where do I start from the God first principle for as long as he sought the Lord, the Bible says God made him to prosper. In John chapter 15, let's read from verse 1 to 3. I like this. It says, I am the vine. John 15, 1, 3. I am the true vine, in fact, it says. It says, and my father is the husbandman. Follow carefully, verse 2. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, I take away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth that it may bring forth fruit. Verse 3. It says, now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Let's even continue the reading, verse 4. It says, abide in me. I like this. It's called the law of abiding. Abide in me. Don't just visit me. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of 